Hello everyone, I'm Melinda. We have a cruise ship tour video for you today, so please stay tuned. My husband and I have been aboard the Carnival Sunshine for three days now, and I have gotten acquainted with her and most of what she has to offer. I am now standing on deck 14 at the front of the ship. It is the highest deck on this ship. Behind me is the aft of the ship with decks 9, 10, 11, and 12 in clear view. In a moment, I'm gonna take you down to start the ship tour on deck one which is the lowest deck we as passengers have access to. So let's go get this tour started. Before I start the systematic deck-by-deck -deck tour of the Carnival Sunshine, let me briefly orientate you to the elevators and stairwells on this ship. Like most cruise ships, the Carnival Sunshine has banks of stairs and elevators at three crucial positions of the ship. At the front, in the middle of the ship, and toward the back. Each stairwell also has these diagrams of the ship to help you navigate around the ship. A good thing to note, if you ever find yourself turned around and not sure which direction you need to go, these diagrams will show you. The diagrams on the starboard side show the front of the ship to the left and the aft of the ship to the right. The diagram of the ship on the port side shows forward is to the right and the aft is to the left. This makes it easy to know which direction you will need to go. I am currently on deck one in the forward stairwell elevator area. A quick note, there is a deck zero that the passengers can use at times, but only when accessing the gangway to get off the ship in some ports or when needing to go to the medical center. Okay, back here on deck one. Of course, I arrived here from deck 14 via the stairs because I avoid elevators while on a cruise. But if I were to have used the elevators to get from 14 to here, I would have only been able to do so on either of these two elevators here. There are signs above each one of these identifying them as Serenity Deck Access, decks 11, 12, and 14. The other four elevators in this bank only go as high as deck 10. The fancy atrium elevators I highlighted in one of my previous Carnival Sunshine series videos are in this forward stairwell, but you will not see them here on deck one because those atrium elevators only access decks two to 10. This is where they would be if they came down this far. Deck one is a deck of staterooms. Port side are the even numbered cabins and starboard side are the odd numbered cabins. On this deck, you will find interior cabins, porthole cabins, and ocean view cabins. Heading up to deck two, I arrive at the lowest deck where you can catch a ride on the glass atrium elevators up to deck 10. The atrium elevators are the elevators directly in front of me here. Deck two, like deck one, is a deck of cabins, but unlike deck one, deck two is home to another service on this ship. Just behind the atrium elevators is the art gallery. If seeing and buying art at the art auction is your thing, you will need to know where this gallery is located. Cabin categories on this deck include interior cabins, porthole cabins, and ocean view cabins. Deck three is the first deck passengers see on embarkation day. On this deck, there are staterooms, outdoor walkways on both sides of the ship, two main dining room restaurants, the main kitchen or galley, and an atrium area. Still in the front stairwell area, we head towards the port side of the ship. This hallway that leads towards the front of the ship is where we can find 
even numbered staterooms. There are standard interior cabins and category 4J interior cabins like the cabin we are in during this cruise. If you want to see what a category 4J interior looks like, check out our cabin tour video. I will link it here. Tucked away in the corner here are public restrooms. These are very handy for those using the atrium bar or the main dining room off the atrium. As we head towards the back of the ship, we pass the excursion desk on the right and the atrium area on the left. We'll get a better glimpse at the atrium area when I make my way around to the other side. Now just past the excursion desk here are doorways out onto the port side walkway on deck three. Deck three has outdoor veranda type walkways on both sides of the ship. Neither walkways go all the way forward or all the way aft of the ship, but it is nice to be out on these decks for fresh air, to relax or gaze at the ocean, or to take leisurely strolls. Starboard side is a non-smoking area, and port side here is a smoking section. Because this port side is a smoking area, it tends to be a little busier. Heading towards the starboard side, we come to one of the two main dining rooms on the ship. This is the Sunset Restaurant. This main dining room is for those passengers with set dining times. There are two dinner seatings. First seating is at 5.30 p.m. and the second is at 7.45 p.m. The dining room for any time dining passengers is the Sunrise Restaurant and it is in the aft of the ship. If you have seen the Embarkation Day video for this series, you will know that I explain in that video how the layout of the ship prevents passengers from getting to the other main dining room at the back of the ship, even though it is on this deck as well. Between the two dining rooms is the galley, and of course, we are not allowed to walk through the galley. To get to the other dining room, we would have to go up or down a deck or two and walk to the aft of the ship to access that dining room. Heading out of the Sunset Restaurant and turning right, we are now starboard side of the Carnival Sunshine Atrium. And now it's time to take a look. This multi-deck atrium is home to the atrium bar and glass elevators and rises all the way up to deck nine. A lot of activity happens here. Grab a drink, enjoy live music or DJ music playing throughout the day, or join the cruise director and fellow passengers for parties in the evening. This place is a hub for activity. As we continue forward on the starboard side of the ship towards the stairs to head up to deck four, we pass the guest services desk on the right. And then straight ahead, that's the hallway of the odd numbered interior cabins. Look familiar? This is the hallway to our cabin. As we make our way up the stairs, notice deck four has no cabins and deck five has only a small group of cabins at the aft of the ship. We are going to go up to deck five first, walk towards the back, and then down the aft stairs to deck four and walk forward. That sounds crazy, but I'm doing that because I want you to be able to see the path you may need to take if you want to get to the sunrise dining room in the aft of the ship. Deck five forward is the upper level of the liquid lounge, the Sunshine's Theater. This is the port side entry into the theater. We will go into the theater when we tour deck four. Behind the forward stairwell and overlooking the multi-level atrium are the fun shops, the sports bar, and the arcade. The port side fun shops include the port side liquor and tobacco, Island Traders General Store, and Funnel Gear, Carnival's logo store. Also located portside deck five is the Skybox, Carnival Sunshine Sports Bar. Skybox Sports Bar caters to the live game crowd.
tucked between the entrance to the casino and the starboard side fun shops is the arcade called The Warehouse. Exiting the warehouse and continuing with the starboard side fun shops, there is Cherry on Top, Sea Breeze Beauty and Fragrances, and Front Street Fine Jewelry and Watches. And there is the starboard side entrance to the Liquid Lounge Theater. Retracing our steps as we head further back on Deck 5, we have to stop and get a top-down view of the beautiful atrium. The casino is our next stop on our tour. I am not a gambler and do not spend time in cruise ship casinos, so I cannot even begin to give a review on this casino. I would, however, like to point out the location of the midship stairs and elevators just in case you need to come up these stairs from deck four to get to the dining room in the aft of the ship. Just behind the casino bar is the midship elevators and stairs. Just past the casino is Ocean Plaza. Java Blue is a branded coffee bar on board Carnival Cruise Line ships, serving up specialty coffees, hot chocolate, and iced lattes. And Shake Spot, with its tempting handcrafted shakes and indulgent floats. There is a small internet cafe next to the coffee and shake bar called the Fun Hub. To the left here is Alchemy Bar. This area is used to host live music events, plus trivia, dance classes, games, and more. Starboard of this area is Red Frog Pub, a laid back, lively, Key West inspired pub. Continuing back through Ocean Plaza and past Alchemy Bar, we come to the aft elevator and stairwell. Behind the stairwell are staterooms. Heading down the aft stairwell, we are going to pass Deck 4 and descend all the way to Deck 3 to get a glimpse at the Sunrise Dining Room, which spans both Decks 3 and 4. This dining room is the Anytime Dining main dining room. It is also the dining room used for breakfast, sea day brunch, and tea time on sea days. Heading back up to deck four to continue our tour, we arrive on deck four hoping the Limelight Lounge is open. If it is not, we will have to sneak back up to deck five and walk forward. Good, it is open. I'm going to swing around here quickly so you can see this lounge. This lounge is used for karaoke and comedy shows. As we head out of the Limelight Lounge and past the midship elevator stairwell, we come to two specialty dining restaurants. To the right is Bonsai Sushi.
and to the left is Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse. On the right next to Banzai Sushi is the Piano Bar 88. This venue is open evenings until very late. Forward of the Piano Bar is the Library Bar. It has the potential to open up to the library itself, but during our cruise, it was not opened. This bar was rarely used, and when it was being used, the events were private. We are now back at the atrium. Immediately to the left, or port side, is DreamWorks, Carnival's photo studio. To the right, or starboard side, is the library. I have noticed this library gets a lot of use on this cruise. There's usually always someone in here. The fact that there is no one in here now surprises me. Flanking both sides of the atrium here on deck four is the Pixels Gallery. This is where you can view and purchase photos taken of you during your cruise. At the front of deck four is the Liquid Lounge, Carnival Sunshine's Theater. Well, I'd hope to be able to go in there now, but it looks like it is closed. Now that we have finished decks one to five, it is time to head up the stairs to check out the upper decks. Decks six, seven, and eight are stateroom decks. Not much to look at on these three decks. But I do want to show you a really nice place to catch forward-facing views of the ocean. We are port side heading forward on deck six to the front of the ship. Through these doors is a veranda that spans decks five, six, and seven. Decks six and seven are open to passengers. Deck five is for staff only. We have come up here often on this cruise and there's usually no one here. It is really fun being up here at night. One night we came up here and practiced our dancing. Dancing under the stars can't get much more romantic than that. Up there is the bridge. I'm not certain, but I am pretty sure the captain and crew that work in there can see everything that goes on down here on this deck. Also, there are cabins with windows that look out onto these verandas. These are the stairs to deck seven. The veranda can be accessed from either port side or starboard side on deck six or seven. Heading back in, we are port side deck seven. We are now going to make our way to the front stairwell elevator area to walk up to Deck 9. Deck 9 is the Lido Deck and it is home to both staterooms and public areas. The nearly front half of the ship is staterooms and the back is the public areas. Behind the forward stairwell and atrium elevators is an opening that allows you to look all the way down to deck three. From this vantage point, you can see the atrium elevators go up to deck 10 and all the way down past deck three to deck two. Just aft of the atrium opening is the beach pool area. This area has a large screen for showing movies, a swimming pool, two hot tubs, and an outdoor stage for live performances, contests, and shows. 
Food and beverage services in this area include Blue Iguana Cantina, Blue Iguana Tequila Bar, Red Frog Rum Bar, and the ever popular Guy's Burger Joint. Aft of the beach pool area is Alito Marketplace, the Carnival Sunshine Buffet. Besides the traditional buffet, in the Alito Marketplace area, you will find Pizzeria del Capitano and the Carnival Deli. Behind the buffet is the aft elevators and seating for three more food and beverage services. Gigi's Asian Kitchen, Cucina del Capitano, and the Havana Bar. Gigi's and Cucina del Capitano are complimentary eating facilities during the day, but become specialty restaurants in the evenings. We are now going to walk back through the aft stairwell, the Lidl Marketplace Buffet, past Guy's Burger Joint, and the Red Frog Rum Bar to the pool area so we can walk up the poolside stairs to the, continue our tour on Deck 10. Deck 10 is home to a water park, kids club areas, an overlook to the Lido Deck, state rooms, and the Cloud9 Spa and Fitness Center. As we head towards the back on the port side of the ship, we get great views of the iconic Carnival Funnel. Underneath that funnel, and on deck 10 here, is the Kids Club area. Of course, I do not have children with me on this cruise, so I'm not able to go inside, but we all know it's here. Behind the kids zone and outside is the Waterworks Water Park and Splash Zone. I share more details about this area in our Day 5 video in this Carnival Sunshine series. I will link that video here so you can check that out if you have not seen it yet. I will complete the tour of Deck 10 in a moment, but while we are still in the aft of the ship, I'm going to head up to Decks 11 and 12. Deck 11 aft is the sports deck. Basketball, ropes course, lawn games are just a few of the activities accessible on this deck. The jogging track is here as well, but it is in a state of disrepair. I did hear somewhere that the sunshine is scheduled for dry dock in October 2023. Perhaps this deck will get some much needed repairs. Deck 12. In the shadow of the Carnival Funnel is the location of the mini golf course here on the Carnival Sunshine. The final hole is down here on deck 11. Now that we have toured the aft of the ship, let's head towards the front. Deck 10 front is a cabin area and the Cloud9 Spa and Fitness Center. I share a pretty detailed spa tour in the embarkation video in this series. If 
you would like to see it, I will link that video here as well. We now head up the stairs in the forward stairwell to visit the last area for this ship tour. Decks 11 and 12 forward are stateroom decks, and they, along with deck 14, are also home to the adult area known as the Serenity. And we'll take you out to see the Serenity area in a moment. But remember at the beginning of this tour when we were down on deck one and I explained there were only two elevators in this stairwell that will bring us up to these three decks? Well, here are those two elevators. Now let's go out and walk around Serenity and take a quick peek at this beautiful area. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this tour, learned a little about this beautiful ship, and were encouraged to plan your own cruise aboard the Carnival Sunshine or whatever cruise ship you are considering. Until next time, safe cruising.